Hi, I'm Candace from TopCon Healthcare. Today, I'm going to show you how to capture data using the Aladdin. You will now be in the acquisition screen. From here, you can choose to either perform biometry measurements for IOL calculations or other clinical uses, or pupillometry measurements. For now, let's stay on biometry, which is the default setting. In this testing mode, the Aladdin will acquire keratometry, or corneal curvature, measurements as part of the corneal topography assessment, axial length measurements, which is the distance from the front surface of the cornea to the retinal pigment epithelium layer at the back of the retina, and anterior measurements, which include the central corneal thickness, the depth of the anterior chamber, and the thickness of the natural lens of the eye. Use the joystick to move the Aladdin in front of the right eye until OD lights up, or move the joystick to the left eye until OS lights up. Traditionally, the right eye is tested first, but you can start with either eye. Then center and focus the eye on the video screen by pushing the joystick forward until the Myers are focused. Moving the joystick left or right moves the eye horizontally in the video screen. Rotating the joystick clockwise or counterclockwise moves the eye vertically in the video screen. Once the eye is centered and in focus, push the button on top of the joystick once. Symbols will appear in the four corners to guide fine focusing. Red arrows indicate that you should push forward slightly. Blue arrows indicate that you should pull back slightly. Green half circles indicate that the focus is just right. Have the patient blink once and then open wide. Push the button again and the Aladdin will acquire keratometry and axial length measurements. The testing will then pause for a moment. Have the patient blink one more time to replenish the tear film, then push the button for a third time to acquire the anterior measurements. When the word processing appears on the screen, the patient can blink again without disrupting data capture. Acquire two more sets of data for consistency. Okay, blink. Before you let the patient leave the device, have a quick look at the results and make sure all the results have been displayed with no warning signs. The results will appear on the left side of the screen for the right eye and on the right side of the screen for the left eye. Pull the Aladdin back and move to the fellow eye to repeat the process again. And that's how you capture data using the Aladdin. For more information on how to use the Aladdin, please check out TopCon Healthcare University.